The history of Microsoft began on April 4, 1975, when it was founded by Bill Gates and Paul Allen in Albuquerque, USA. Its current best-selling products are the Microsoft Windows operating system and the Microsoft Office suite of productivity software. In 1981, Microsoft started the first operating system and called it DOS Disk Operating System where the users had to type the commands to execute programs. MS-DOS ran until version 6.22 then Microsoft introduced the first version of Windows in 1985. Welcome to the Revelation Superhighway. We bless, no mess. Downloading now. Windows 1.0 ran as a graphical, 16-bit multitasking shell on top of an existing MS-DOS installation, providing an environment which can run graphical programs designed for Windows, along with existing MS-DOS software. Development of the software was spearheaded by company founder Bill Gates after seeing a demo of a similar software suite known as Visi on its Comdex. In December 9, 1987, Windows 2.0 was introduced. It allowed application windows to overlap each other unlike its predecessor, Windows 1.0, which could display only tiled windows. Windows 2.0 also introduced more sophisticated keyboard shortcuts. Windows 3.0 was released on May 22, 1990. It became the first widely successful version of Windows and arrival to Apple Macintosh and the Commodore Amiga and the GUI front. It was followed by Windows 3.1. Windows 95, or 4.0, was released on August 24, 1995, and was a significant progression from the company's previous Windows products. During development, it was referred to as Windows 4.0 or by the internal codename Chicago. Accompanied by an extensive marketing campaign, Windows 95 was a major success in the marketplace at launch and shortly became the most popular desktop operating system. It also introduced numerous functions and features that were featured in later Windows versions, such as the task bar, the start button, and the way the user navigates. It was also suggested that Windows 95 had an effect of driving other major players, including OS 2, out of business. On June 25, 1998, Microsoft released Windows 98, codenamed Memphis. It included new hardware drivers and the FAT32 file system which supports disk partitions that are larger than 2GB, first introduced in Windows 95 OS R2. 
USB support in Windows 98 is marketed as a vast improvement over Windows 95. Microsoft released Windows 2000 in February 2000. It has the version number Windows NT5. It was successfully deployed both on the server and the workstation markets. Amongst Windows 2000's most significant new features was Active Directory, a near-complete replacement of the NT4 Windows Server Domain model, which built on industry-standard technologies like DNS, LDAP, and Kerberos to connect machines to one another. Windows Millennium Edition, or Windows ME was released to manufacturing on June 19, 2000, and launched on September 14, 2000. It was the last operating system released in the Windows 9X series. On August 25, 2001, Microsoft released one of its best operating systems, Windows XP, codenamed Whistler. The merging of the Windows NT2000 and Windows 9598 ME lines was finally achieved with Windows XP. Windows XP uses the Windows NT 5.1 kernel, marking the entrance of the Windows NT core to the consumer market, to replace the aging 1632-bit branch. The initial release met with considerable criticism, particularly in the area of security, leading to the release of three major service packs. Windows Vista was released in 2006 with a stronger security system. User account control helped the prevention of potentially harmful software from making changes to your computer. In Windows Vista Ultimate, BitLocker Drive encryption provided better data protection for computers, as laptop sales and security needs increased. Windows Vista featured enhancements to Windows Media Player as more and more people came to see their PCs as central locations for digital media. Some users complained of how slow and bulky Windows Vista was. Windows Server 2008, released on February 27, 2008, was originally known as Windows Server codename Longhorn, 
Windows Server 2008 builds on the technological and security advances first introduced with Windows Vista, and is significantly more modular than its predecessor, Windows Server 2003. Windows Server 2008 never became popular. Windows 7 was released to manufacturing on July 22, 2009, and reached general retail availability on October 22, 2009. It was previously known by the code names Blackcomb and Vienna. Windows 7 has the version number MT6.1. Some features of Windows 7 are faster booting, device stage, Windows PowerShell, less obtrusive user account control, multi-touch, and improved window management. Features included with Windows Vista and not on Windows 7 include the sidebar, although gadgets remain, and several programs that were removed in favor of downloading their Windows Live counterparts. Windows 8 went on sale on October 26, 2012. It was introduced to run on some system-on-the-chip devices with mobile 32-bit ARM ARMv7, processors. Windows 8 features a redesigned user interface, designed to make it easier for touchscreen users to use Windows. The interface introduced an updated start menu known as the Start Screen, and a new full-screen application platform. The desktop interface is also present for running windowed applications, although Windows RT will not run any desktop applications not included in the system. Windows 10 was unveiled on September 30, 2014. Release date, late 2015. Windows 10 aims to address shortcomings in the user interface introduced by Windows 8 by improving the user experience for non-touchscreen devices, such as desktop computers and laptops, including a revival of the start menu seen in Windows 7, a virtual desktop system, and the ability to run Windows Store apps within Windows on the desktop as well as in full screen mode, 